Hey guys, how's it going? It's Blade Slicer, and welcome back to another episode of Powered Up Fridays. And so usually, um, I noticed when I would do these Powered Up Fridays videos, they wouldn't be very good. So today is gonna be a really good one. At least I hope you guys would enjoy it. And as you can see, I'm playing a Supergirl. So this one in this part of Fridays I'm gonna explain her origin her powers um, her equipment or whatever and her some things that she has done so um, Kara zor is the lost survivor of Argo City which was a city in Krypton that survived the explosion of the planet and was drifting through space meteorites that were Striking at the colonies released green kryptonite killing the inhabitants Kara's father sends her to earth to be raised by her cousin, which is Superman So that was a pretty short one to be honest But um, I have lots of stuff for you guys right here So I'm just gonna name some of her flowers. So she has flight like her Kryptonian cousin Supergirl has the ability to fly at great speeds It has been shown that she is able to fly at the speed of light on one occasion, she has been seen to fly through the moon. She also has super hearing. Supergirl has the ability to detect and interpret dissipating sound waves. This means that she is able to hear even the quietest of sounds from a large distance away, meaning that she can pinpoint a single person in the world just from their voice or heartbeat. This is done by filtering out every other sound in the world. Supergirl can also detect sound waves at a higher or lower frequency than a normal human ear can usually detect. This ranges from subsonic wavelengths to radio waves. She also has healing. Supergirl is not totally invulnerable and has a powerful healing factor. Right, heat vision. Supergirl has the ability to generate intense heat from her eyes. This heat is then focused and projected in the form of beams of radiation, which can be used to melt steel structures or heat up cold coffee, meaning that she can control the temperature of these beams. And in vulnerability, in the New 52, it has been shown that Kryptonians under the yellow sun aren't entirely invulnerable. Although bullets won't harm them, sufficient amount of force and a sufficiently powerful electric shock can. The costume that they wear is actually armor, which itself is theoretically invincible. And super breath. In the new 52, her super breath has only been shown that she can hold her breath for a sufficient amount of time in space. Super strength. The exact magnitude of Supergirl's strength is unknown. She was easily able to knock down armored weaponized robots only with minimal strain and when she hits Superman. It actually hurts him and he notes that he's never been hit that hard before. She can lift 100 tons with minimal effort. Super Intellect Supergirl was born into a society hundreds of years ahead of Earth. She lived there for about 15 years and learned much of the technology. Krypton was ruled by the Science Council and it was a huge part of their daily lives. During the New 52, it not, though in the New 52, it not shown, it is not shown if she still possesses it. Um, X-ray vision. She can see through anything except lead. Super speed. As like Superman, she can move unbelievably quick. Um, but not as fast as the other speedsters or those that possess the speed force. And solar bomb. In the new 52, Carol was recently shown the ability to release the solar energy within her like a bomb. An attack which has pr proved powerful enough to hurt Wonder Woman. She can use the same ability to a lesser extent in order to raise her body temperature to incredible levels and more to turn herself into a living torch. Alright, so she also has a red power ring. So after Krypton returns, a red power ring chose Kara. She has been shown to be able to charge the ring when depleted with her rage. However, she is more prone to violent outbursts and have a hard time controlling the ring. So she has with these red lantern um, with this red lantern ring, she has the red lantern powers, which is acid. She has the ability to expel a fiery acid from her mouth. Um, animating a red lantern kitten 
will things to move how he wants. Caustic effect. Red lantern power can damage and drain away the power of other lanterns almost like a poison. For example, green lanterns who survive a red lantern attack will begin to lose power from the almost napalm like attacks of red lanterns. Communicator. The ring can act as a personal communicator between lanterns. Costumes. The wearer of the ring may create any costume they choose based on their personal preferences whenever they choose. Um, the ring projects the costume over any clothes already worn at the time. While red lanterns have no costume code, they are all red and black with the red lantern symbol displayed. Energy projection. The rings can also project beams, form protective bubbles and force fields, and fire destructive blasts. The attacks often come from the mouth from a red lantern. Energy constructs. The rings can construct anything the wearer can imagine from hard light energy as long as they are willing to make it. The more determined the wearer is, the more complex and intricate these things can be. The constructs can even be so complex as to form working machines, computers, and even people. Red Lanterns have difficulty creating constructs due to their anger. Um, heart replacement. Red Lantern rings replace the heart of the lantern who wields them. So removing a red lantern ring is often fatal without medical attention or the presence of a blue lantern. Atrocitus had his heart ripped from his body and was able to return to the fight within seconds since his ring serves as his heart. Mirages. The ring can create illusions and mirage. Um, recharging. The rings need to be recharged by means of a power battery. Other large sources of power may also be used to recharge a power ring. However, effectiveness may vary. So the internal source of power of a Manhunter android is in um, is in effect. Oh my God! Sorry, guys. <laughs> the same as a power battery and can be used to recharge a power ring. Alright. So ring duplication. Each ring can duplicate itself, creating a second ring, which may be given to another as backup, uh, for protection or to help the lantern in times of need. Um, temperature control. The ring can increase or decrease the temperature of anything, even something as large as stars, or even create bubbles of intense heat or cold, even down to absolute zero. Electromagnetic scanning. The ring can allow, through the use of x-rays, the user to see through walls without the people on the other side knowing. It can also scan along the electromagnetic spectrum. And wormholes and warps. Um, the ring can open wormholes to cut down on distance. Alright, so now we're going to say some things she has done. So she has punched Superman across the Great Wall of China. Um, she is also immune to intense heat and can increase her body temperature to an excess of 1000 degrees. Um, she has deflected a barrage of bullets. Um, she has fought Barry Allen, which is Flash, and speed blitzed him twice. Um, she doesn't get wet underwater. She breathes underwater and space. She doesn't need to eat or sleep. She can read DNA. She has some combat training for Krypton. She defeated a dozen clones with only martial arts because she was weakened by a red sun. So that's about all guys. I hope you think I did a great job this time. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.